import your clip cut it down to size we don't want any spaces no silences go to the very top to window and scroll down to text once your text panel is open hit create transcription in the create transcript prompt select the correct audio track and hit transcribe correct all of your mistakes here it's like a text document you can also eliminate the periods and commas by searching them in the text panel, clicking the replace button and select replace all. Once that's done, hit create captions. Hit the preferences tab and go to maximum characters. We want that at 15 and for maximum duration, we want it at two seconds. Go ahead and skip the last slider and go to double lines for the Alex Hermosi style, baby. You should see a C1, a caption track in your timeline. Select one of the captions that has two lines. Go up to window and go down to essential graphics. Once this panel is open, go to the edit tab. This should show you all of your text settings. Copy these text and shadow settings. In our assets folder, we have a clip of Alex so we can use him to line up our text. Throw him in your timeline, go to the align section and hit the middle zone. And I'm going to use this vertical parameter to drag it down and line it up with Alex. If that looks good to you. Go ahead and click that layer and get it out of here. Scroll to the very top to the drop down and hit create style and name it Alex Hermosi 70 to indicate the font size. And to your right of the dropdown is a little arrow. Go ahead and push the style to the caption track. Click OK. Here I would take note of what words I want to emphasize. The fastest way to do that is to put this color palette created by the fantastic Ivan K. And in your central graphics, make sure the appearance window is visible. Because as you go through caption to caption, highlighting what words you want to color, you use the eyedropper tool and go from the appearance window to a color on the color palette. Next, I would highlight all of my captions, go to the very top to graphics and titles and scroll down to upgrade captions to graphic. Now these are text layers. I would select three or four captions at a time and throw on a different animation effect. You can use this with the Finzar presets or you can use it with our brand new Saturn's Ring preset pack. This pack is included with our brand new micro content course. Hope you check it out. And here's a bonus. If you wanna duplicate your text layer hold alt and click and drag up. You can do this across an entire timeline and nest one of those sequences. And if you wanted to mass shrink or resize, you can increase the scale setting across this nested sequence. Now I have all my text in the right place and animated. I'm now going to drop in emojis. I would recommend keeping all of your emojis on the same track. In our last tutorial, we made a drop shadow preset. I'm selecting this entire track full of PNGs and emojis and putting a drop shadow on all of them. And I'll finish it off with the same motion with one of the Finzar presets. Last is sound design. Use all of the free assets down below and all also, I use Mr. Horse for transitions and other sound effects. And those are also completely free. Side note on the transitions, don't use too many of them. And same goes for the sound. A lot of people don't know that I'm actually- Ooh, you just finished your clip. Wait, what if you have to do 30 more of these? Hit control in, select the RE preset at 29.97 frames. That's what we use. And go to the frame size and flip the width and height. But before you click OK, hit the save preset at the very bottom to the left. Now going forward, you can hit this preset every time you're making a new sequence. Click OK. Now you have all these beautiful sequences. Using your mouse, click and hold Control or Command if you're on Mac and select all of your sequences that you want to export. Right click and scroll down to Export Media. And at the bottom right, you're going to click on Send to Media Encoder. And Media Encoder is going to take all of those beautiful clips you did Make sure to press enter or hit the play button in the top right and mass export them. Go take a nap, go to bed, go call somebody, go get something to eat because it's doing the work for you. I love you all. Quick update. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have the micro content course, everyone. 30 plus presets created by yours truly. Thank you everyone that has been on this journey so far. 2000 subs, what is going on? <laughs> we are so humbled by this and we needed to give something to y'all back. So we have these 30 plus preset pack along with some animated emojis. This is from a YouTuber. I thought it'd be a great resource for y'all. We also have some Alex or Mosey footage that you can edit in there if you want to edit on the man himself. And it's a pretty good value because not only are we talking about micro content, we're talking about clients, talking a little bit about business. And guess what? I'm teaching y'all how to use five other programs. So kind of a no brainer. 
And if you want to take advantage of it, here's what is going to happen, my friends. And for one week, I'm sorry if you're watching this in the five years into the future, but for one week, everyone that has been riding with us on this journey, you can now hit a promo code that is in the description to give you a nice discount on our first ever digital product. We worked so hard on it. I really hope you guys like it. And we want to give back to the community. If things go really well, we are going to gift at least three full year subscriptions to Adobe Cloud. That's right. And if things go really well, we want to give away more. And if we get this course to a thousand buys, I'm going to be giving away an entire podcast setup. And with full transparency, I bought two of these setups and one of them has never been used. So I thought, why not give it to our community? So that being said, we're giving away subscriptions and an entire podcast bundle. So we are officially advertising the Discord for anyone that wants to join the community. We'd really love to have you answer any questions that you have. If, and if I don't have them, someone is bound to have them. So please do ask any questions in there. In the future, we're gonna be working on a job posting thread within our Discord for people that are looking for work and people that want to hire other editors for work. So we're trying to really make this into a community and see where it goes. But that's it for now. We have a lot of good video ideas that are coming up in the pipeline. So I will see you all very soon. Check out the course. Give me some feedback. I want to keep adding to it. As I said, we want this to be an evergreen product and we can't wait to see y'all. So thank you so much. I'm Kyle with Saturn's Ring. See you soon.